Hi, this is Marcy of Earth Sky. Here are some of the highlights of the June night sky. There are two planets in the evening sky. Mercury emerges low on the horizon the second week of June, and Mars is high in the west. The moon is near Mars on June 1st, then near Mercury on June 26th, and Mars again on June 29th. And there are two planets in the morning sky. There's bright Venus, reaching greatest distance from the sun at the beginning of the month, and Saturn. The two planets will move farther apart each day. The moon visits Saturn on June 18th and 19th, and then floats near Venus on June 21st and 22nd. And here's the morning planet view from the southern hemisphere. Here's a chart of the brighter stars and constellations as they'll appear at about 10 p.m. in June. Toward the west, you can catch the twin stars of Gemini, Pollux, and Castor. They'll be near the planet Mercury, and the bright star Capella will be a flashy light near the horizon. Prominent in the evening sky are the constellations Leo Bootes, Corona Borealis, Corvus, and the bright star Spica. Spica is the brightest star in Virgo, but you'll need dark skies to spot it. Leo is easy to pick out by its backward question mark, Bootes is kite-shaped, Corvus is a quadrilateral shape, and Corona Borealis is a semicircle of stars. Also look for the spring triangle. It's made from the three bright stars Arcturus, Regulus, and Spica. To help locate these stars and constellations, you can use the handle of the easy-to-spot Big Dipper to follow the curve and arc to Arcturus, speed onto Spica, and curve onto Corvus. Then looking toward the north, the five stars that look like a M or W low on the horizon is Cassiopeia, and the Big Dipper is almost overhead. You can use the end of the bowl of the Big Dipper, also known as the Pointer Stars, to find Polaris, the North Star, or to find Leo. And the Milky Way is finally back in the evening sky. You'll need dark skies to see the Milky Way arching across the sky. It stretches from Cassiopeia to Scorpius. And along the Milky Way, look for the constellations of Cygnus, Lyra, Altair, Delphinus, Sagittarius, and Scorpius. Plus, one of the easiest things to pick out along the Milky Way is the Summer Triangle. It's made from the three bright stars, Deneb, Vega, and Altair. And what if you went to stargaze before dawn? Leo and Spica are gone, the Milky Way is now overhead, and the constellations Perseus, Andromeda, and Aquarius are now visible. And you'll notice the Big Dipper and Cassiopeia have switched places in the sky. And finally, there's a meteor shower on the morning of June 7th. It's the daytime Ariatids. Watch for them shooting up over the eastern horizon before dawn.